Okay, so carrots are a great thing to grow in a raised bed because carrots need um, a particular soil for the best. They're not the easiest of things to grow. I've certainly struggled in the past, so, but I don't want to put people off because with a few tips, you can actually be very successful. And I think one of the things to, um, to remember is that growing carrots in a raised bed allows you to tailor the soil just how they like it. Carrots don't like rich, manure-led soil so you want soil um, that's that's already grown something else in it and you don't want to add any extra manure. Um, you want a free draining sort of, sort of semi-sandy soil um, so that the roots can go down through without any stones because basically if you have stones in your soil you'll end up with forked carrots. Um, carrot seed is really small so you need to think about um, making your drill ready and that tiny little indent, possibly about half a centimetre de deep and um, make sure you get a nice straight line and a short line. And what I would suggest you do is you get your bed ready and your drill ready and then with your dry fingers, pinch some seed and move your hand along the line, um, sowing as thinly as you can. They're such small seeds, don't worry, you will end up with too many in the beside each other but what you can do is once they germinate and they start to pop up you'll notice where they need to be thinned and you can pull individual plants out to give you the ideal spacing because at the end of the day you want something like five centimeters between each root but the great thing is you can actually eat the little tiny carrots as they get pulled out so as you thin you can you can carry on munching your way through them and they're just delicious the other new thing that you can actually buy now is a tape that's impregnated with seeds at specific distances apart. And I've tried these and they work really, really well. And all you do is you prepare your seed bed like you would if you were sowing seed. You have your little drill and then you, you uh, dampen the soil, make sure the soil's nice and damp, nice and moist. And then you lay your tape along the drill and give it a light dusting of soil over the top. Um, make sure it stays moist and very quickly you'll see your new seedlings coming up and they'll be nicely spaced. You may still have to thin them, but you won't have, you know, five or six growing in one spot. Um, so it just makes it a little bit easier. And the other good thing about that is if you don't have, the less thinning you have to do, the less carrot smell you're producing. And it's the carrot smell that you get when you pull them out that attracts the carrot fly. So it's, it pays to try and be good on uh, try and make a good job of sowing the seeds so that you have minimum amount of thinning to do. Another thing to remember with carrots is that they really need to be sown where they're going to grow. They really don't like being moved. Um, you can sow the little round varieties into pots and providing you don't disturb the root, you can place them in your raised bed once they've sprouted. But I certainly wouldn't recommend a standard um, claret to be moved. You need to sow them where they want them to grow. Um, well, you can start sowing seed, uh, providing your soil's warm, um, you can start to grow seed in your raised bed from sort of late February. And what I would suggest is that you protect your seedlings by maybe putting a bit of fleece over the top and uh, keep an eye on them, make sure they stay moist until they start to sprout. Um, and you can successional sow carrots all through the summer. And the other thing is carrot seed doesn't really keep. So if you buy a packet of seed, you may as well just sow it. So maybe every two weeks, prepare a little drill and sow some, thinly sow some seed. And you'll see that you'll get successional plants growing throughout the summer. And you can be picking fresh carrots right the way through to the end of the autumn.